Book 11 The Book of Everlasting Day Canto 1 The Eternal Day The Soul's Choice and the Supreme Consummation Even should a hostile force cling to its reign and claim its rights perpetual sovereignty and man refuse his high spiritual fate, yet shall the secret truth in things prevail. For in the march of all fulfilling time, the hour must come of the transcendent's will. All turns and winds towards his predestined ends in nature's fixed inevitable course decreed since the beginning of the worlds in the deep essence of created things. Even there shall come as a high crown of all the end of death, the death of ignorance. But first high truth must set her feet on earth, and man aspire to the eternal's light, and all his members feel the Spirit's touch, and all his life obey an inner force. This too shall be, for a new life shall come, a body of the superconscience true, a native field of supernature's mights. It shall make earth's nescient ground truth's colony, make even the ignorance a transparent robe through which shall shine the brilliant limbs of truth and truth shall be a sun on nature's head, and truth shall be the guide of nature's steps, and truth shall gaze out of her nether deeps. When Superman is born, as nature's king, his presence shall transfigure matter's word. He shall light up truth's fire in nature's night. He shall lay upon the earth truth's greater law. Man too shall turn towards the spirit's call. Awake to his hidden possibility. Awake to all that slept within his heart and all that nature meant when earth was formed and the spirit made this ignorant world his home. He shall aspire to truth and God and bliss, interpreter of a diviner law, and instrument of a supreme design, the higher kind shall lean to lift up man. Man shall desire to climb to his own heights, the truth above shall wake a never true, even the dumb earth become a sentient force. The spirit stops and nature's base shall draw near to the secret 
of their separate truth and know each other as one deity. The spirit shall look out through matter's gaze, and matter shall reveal the spirit's face. Then man and superman shall be at one, and all the earth become a single life. Even the multitude shall hear the voice and turn to commune with the spirit within and strive to obey the high spiritual law. This earth shall stir with impulses sublime, humanity awake to deepest self, nature the hidden Godhead recognize. Even the many shall some answer make, and bear the splendor of the divine's rush and his impetuous knock at unseen doors. A heavenlier passion shall upheave men's lives. Their mind shall share in the ineffable gleam. Their heart shall feel the ecstasy and the fire. Earth's bodies shall be conscious of a soul. Mortality's bond slaves shall unloose their bonds, mere men into spiritual beings grow and see awake the dumb divinity. Intuitive beams shall touch the nature's peaks. A revelation stir the nature's depths. The truth shall be the leader of their lives. Truth shall dictate their thought and speech and act. They shall feel themselves lifted nearer to the sky, as if a little lower than the gods. For knowledge shall pour down in radiant streams, and even darkened mind quiver with new life and kindle and burn with the ideal's fire, and turn to escape from mortal ignorance. The frontiers of the ignorance shall recede. More and more souls shall enter into light. Minds lit inspired the occult summoner here and lives blaze with a sudden inner flame and hearts grow enamoured of divine delight and human wills tune to the divine will these separate selves the spirit's oneness feel. These senses of heavenly sense grow capable, the flesh and nerves of a strange ethereal joy and mortal bodies of immortality. A divine force shall flow through tissue and cell, and take the charge of breath and speech and act, and all the thought shall be a glow of suns, 
and every feeling a celestial thrill. Often a lustrous inner dawn shall come, lighting the chambers of the slumbering mind. A sudden bliss shall run through every limb, and nature with a mightier presence fill. Thus shall the earth open to divinity, and common natures feel the wide uplift. Illumine common acts with the Spirit's ray, and meet the Deity in common things. Nature shall live to manifest secret God, the Spirit shall take up the human play. This earthly life become the life divine.